Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Jason with Schleiz Bonsai and Supplies. Today I wanted to talk about refinement um, and trimming. A lot of people get a tree, um, if they have a guest artist or somebody who who comes in or if they've read a book and they wire up a tree and style it, and they take a tree and they wire it and they shape it and they're happy with the result and they have a good initial design, but then they say, okay, what now? What do I do with this? Well, today I want to talk about that. Um, typically, when you initially style your tree like this and you cut the tips, you either cut them out at the styling or you may cut them out in a month or two after the styling. What will happen is, if you don't cut the tips off, if the trees are, are you still trying to elongate the branches, that will be the first place that it grows because something called auxin has built up on the tip of that branch and it's going to start pushing that branch out first thing. So if you have a tree that hasn't been trimmed, it will start to push out. What we usually like to do is put, let it grow out four to six leaves and then trim it back to like this result here. What that will do is redistribute that hormone into the dormant buds that are on the lateral sides of the branch and start making it push out. That's what we're going to use actually to fill this, these branches out to make them start looking like real branches of a tree. Um, you'll typically let those side branches grow out four to six sets of leaves and then trim them back down to two or three leaves. You wouldn't trim them back down to one leaf because what you want to do is that auxin that's built up on, the, on that branch, you want to redistribute that into two or more buds. And what will happen is the new leaves that come out will be smaller. You'll start getting new littler branches, what we call twigginess, and start getting the ramification. This particular branch right here has zero ramification. This is stage one. A lot of people that do bonsai don't trim off enough and are only stuck with a tree that's almost at this level or at stage one. But what you need to do is let them grow out four to six sets of leaves and then trim it and then start letting it grow only two to four sets of leaves and start trimming it. And what that'll do is you'll start getting what we call ramification. This is a good example. This tree has been trimmed out about five times since um, this year and I've wired and shaped this initially last year. This is the second year of refinement. And this particular tree, as you can see, the leaves are much smaller than what they normally are. Um, and we let these grow out and we are con continually trimming the tips back to not only let it get um, uh, ramification by, by having wherever you trim the tip, you, you'll not only get one shoot that will replace it, but you'll also start getting side lateral shoots to replace it. So you'll get more and more twiggy and the leaves will get smaller and smaller. At this point, these leaves are around a quarter of the size or more of what this tree normally grows. And I'll show you uh, a full-sized leaf in, right after this, this trimming exercise. I periodically will check these and at this point of the year, right now it's August here in Central Florida where we're having 90 degrees, this thing is very happy. He is growing like gangbusters. We're fertilizing him twice a month. Uh, I use a liquid uh, fertilizer or a organic fertilizer, but I will periodically come in here and trim this tree almost almost weekly at this point because this is a a, a shohin which it's really about you could also could classify this as mame which is two to six inches but it's it's definitely shohin under under eight inches um, I need to keep on this tree if I don't trim this this often what happens is these shoots will continue to elongate and the leaves will get too big so if you let this grow out like you do initially like the um, four to eight sets of leaves the bottom two leaves will end up being much larger and then you'll have to come in here periodically and trim them off like this. Um, it's not too much of a problem but if you let them all grow and you have to defoliate this a couple times you can really weaken your tree and kill it. So it's better to stay on top of it, get your leaves small so you can keep them and enjoy a nice little uh, tree in proportion. Uh, it usually takes me no longer than 10 or 15 minutes to trim a tree this size but it's very important to do it. So in your collection, if you have some nice little trees that you've just styled or if you've picked up one that's already wired and shaped and has had a couple years of work on it like this, it's important to come back in there and keep it trimmed. You want to keep the proportions. It's, it's, it's a classic mistake not keeping it trimmed because then the leaves come out larger and the proportions go away. Um, this is another example right here. 
The leaves are much smaller than than what they normally are. This particular one has grown out um, four to six sets of leaves, and you can see how large this leaf is. See this leaf right here? This leaf was a small leaf, but letting this shoot grow has brought the strength back into that branch and, 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 and let it get vigorous again, and it, it's keeping the, the, uh, the, the branches or the leaves are continually getting bigger. Coming in here and trimming this will, will help eliminate that because we want these trees nice and small. That one I just trimmed is still only about half the size of what these leaves normally are, but if you don't come in here and trim, 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 you'll end up with large leaves. Uh, if your tree isn't in active growth, if it's in the winter or if you have it inside under lights, you're not going to trim this as often. You may only trim it once a month. You may only trim it once every two weeks. But the trick is to look at the tree, see how far it is in the growth, and trim it. If it's um, sick, I tend to not trim them. I let them recover. If it was just repotted and you're trying to get the roots to develop, again, I don't, um, I, I don't trim them that often. And if it's uh, diseased, if you have some sort of bugs, I like to leave the, let, the, let the larger leaves on there to help with photosynthesis. But this tree is very healthy, so I don't mind coming in there and cutting the larger leaves off to continue the proportion. As you can already see, with trimming and taking the large leaves off, how much better in proportion it looks as a bonsai tree. And this is just something that you do periodically on your tree. We had three days of heavy rain and it was just trimmed about a week ago. So it shows you how, how quick you can stay on that. But that's how you trim your bonsai trees, ladies and gentlemen. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. That's how we trim our trees. Uh, we stay on top of it. If the tree is in vigorous, active growth and well fertilized, we trim it as it needs it. Uh, we may come in on some of these and, and trim them almost weekly. Some of these we may only trim once a month, but let the tree dictate when you trim it. Uh, if you have any other questions or you'd like to visit our website, um, take a look at it at schleisbonsai.com.